Yo buddies, what's up? Welcome back, Beaker here, and I've been telling you guys to use hogs for so long, I feel like it's finally setting in. I feel like I talk to a lot of people and they're like, yo, I'm using your grow hog strategy, it works so good, and I'm, I'm proud of you guys, I'm really proud of you guys. Even some of my clan mates are doing really well with it. So if you haven't started using the go hog strategy yet, try it out. If you're a town online, you need to be doing that. You need to. So guys, let's check this raid out. Some, some noob named Beaker, let's check it out. He must've gotten lucky because this raid probably sucked. Okay, this base kind of sucked. I'm not trying to be mean, but this base does not have double giant bombs. We can tell that because, well, actually, it could have double bombs in here, but that doesn't matter. Why would hogs go, like, straight through that area? They're not. They're going to follow the defenses, and they're going to avoid the bombs even if they are there. So that's enough rambling about bomb locations. Let's do the beaker entry point. So I always tell you guys, instead of a jump spell, what do I use? A rage spell. I thought I was gonna drop it right there. It's gonna be really cool, but uh, I'm gonna wait on the rage spell apparently. But I like to use a rage spell because it, it just jacks the wall breakers in there really fast, and it gives you the added bonus of a little extra juice for your archer queen. Get your archer queen on steroids. Get her boom, 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 shooting stuff, and it's really gonna help you take out the clan castle, take out the king, queen, all that, and some defenses. You know, that's the idea of the go hog attack. You take out some defenses as well. And then there's less base to take out with the hogs. So here we go. Two giants to distract. Uh, I was a little slow on the hog drop here. So the giants kind of went to waste. But we're doing about three hogs on each defense. And look, we've already surrounded the base. We're coming in in like a, you know, just slowly moving around the outside of the base in a counterclockwise. I had to think about that for a second. Counterclockwise motion here. And we're putting heels in the open areas where bombs could be. And that's it. You know, we got one heal left even. We, like, almost didn't even need it. Sick. Sick. I love attacking easy bases like this because you look like a big, strong, awesome attacker, you know? And and really, because I'm a Town Hall 8.5, I'm ranked lower than this dude. Which is crazy. You know, this dude is not higher level than me at all. I mean, most of his defenses are actually lower level than mine, but because I don't have expos, it, it makes him match higher than me. Anyway, check this out, dude. I told you guys this. I keep having raids where lava pups follow me around. I'm just like, no, get off my back. You can lose a raid this way. I've lost so many raids this way. And I, I, at this time, I was like, what am I going to do? I have no troops left. I, you know, I, I thought maybe if I had some minions left or a poison spell, I could take care of this. But look at who's coming along, buddies. We got an archer. One, seriously, one heroic archer to save the day. Boo, boo, boo. Take him out by herself. Because, you know, it just, it just worked perfectly. There was nothing else for the archer to shoot except for them. So she just came in and saved the day. Thank you, Archer. I love you. I love you. You get a raise. Whatever you're, whatever they're paying you, d pay them double. Pay her double. Who pays the troops? I don't know. If they're part of an army, they must get a salary. Anyway, there we go. Three stars for the clan. Boom, boom. Why do I always say boom? I, I don't know. I don't even say boom in like normal life, but I say boom a lot when I'm playing Clash. So... There we go, nine versus eight. So I really technically attacked up, even though, like I said, this guy was not higher level than me. But attacking up is a very good thing for the clan. You know, if you can three-star somebody higher than you, you are very valuable to your clan, especially if you can get two three-stars. We're gonna talk about that in the future, how to make yourself a really valuable member of your clan, because it's important in clan wars, you know? A really good clan wants a really valuable member. Anyway, let's move on to another raid, dudes. Oh, this raid, man. This raid right here almost brought a tear to my eye. I mean, it's just like a beaker raid. This is what I'm saying. My clan mates, my friends, my, my clash friends, they're all starting to pick up the beaker go hog attack, and I just love it. Love it. Brings a tear to my eye. So, so proud to watch this. This worked so well. So, any, anybody, any of you guys can do this. Anybody can do this, you know? Uh, most of the clan mates that I have in this clan, they're kind of new to this style of attack, but they're doing it because you just watch a few raids, you watch it a few times, and you can do it too. You enter with that rage spell, get your troops in there really fast, get your wall breakers in there really fast, and then look, he's already taken out like 20% of the base, and here go the hogs. Go hogs go! So, you know, kind of doing a, a surgical type attack here, dropping the hogs in just like different locations. He didn't precisely put three hogs in each defense, but you don't always need to. 
you know, this base, it didn't have very good bomb locations. As you can see, the bombs were just everywhere, like on the outside and stuff. So he could just basically throw the hogs around. And as long as he kept him in a heal spell, yeah, buddies. Okay, so again, we have a little uh, lava pup problem here, but he took care of it. Nice. Nice. He had a poison spell, took care of the lava pup problem. It's a problem, man. The lava hound itself will not do anything to you. Lava hound itself, if you don't kill it, it doesn't do anything to your hogs, but the lava pups, they can kill your hogs. It's a it's a big problem. <laughs> okay, so now we're on cleanup mode. He's on cleanup mode. He's doing good. Just killing it, you know. Had a couple of goblins, plenty of hogs left, plenty of wizards. Whoa! Whoa. You guys see where those bombs were? <laughs> that was weird. Who would put bombs right there? That's weird, right? Uh, remember, put your bombs in good spots. Put them kind of deep in your base. You know, you want your bombs deep in your base so people can't easily set them off. Wow. That's the only thing that's going to keep this from happening to you. If you have good bomb placements, people won't be able to hog three-star you. Well, they, they will. I mean, any base can be three-starred. Especially a town on mine. But you want to make it hard, you know? You don't want to make it easy for the uh, attacker. So... Well, let's go watch another raid, guys. All right, dudes, on to the newest war. This this war is actually still going on now. We're gonna win. We we just rock. We're we're killing it right now. But uh, we're gonna show some highlights here. And this was the first raid I did. Worked great. You know this this raid is actually a similar base to the last one I showed you that I did. It's kind of you know the base just looks similar and even better. This base has some defenses I can take out with balloons. Notice I have two balloons. I'm going to drop one up here. What's up, cannon? And down here, mortar. What's up, mortar? You know, one balloon is going to take each of those out, and that's going to make everything a lot easier. You'll see. <laughs> I It just it, it made it easier because the hogs didn't have to go there. You know, they could just go through the core. You, you want to take out any defenses that are really far out. Just take it out it makes it easier for the hogs so here we go we're in the core rage belt down hound down everybody down hogs are down they're going in we put a heel right in the middle there while we you know flank some hogs in from the right i actually put like what was that six hogs to start out but the rest around the base i'm doing about three on each defense like normal heal spell kind of in a weird spot there but it worked you know i like to put the heel in an opening in an open area but there really wasn't many open areas on this base, now that I think about it. I mean, I, I honestly think the bombs... Yeah, there's the bombs, right there. I forgot that. So, the bombs were in such terrible locations here, it didn't even matter. Like, my hogs wouldn't have hit the bombs, I don't think. And maybe they would hit those ones in the bottom, but... They weren't really a threat, let's be honest. So, put your bombs in good spots, dudes. Put your bombs, like in the middle towards the middle you know well maybe we can talk about that sometime in the future but you want to have them it's like kind of near your expos or your air defenses is a good spot near those buildings that are kind of big buildings heavy buildings um, but yeah we'll talk about that some other day so tons of cleanup here you, you can't even you can't deny that uh, we are killing it but what's going on here oh my god it happened again how does this keep happening to me oh my god well we took care of it that time <laughs> We took care of it, and there we go. Three stars for the clan. Boom, boom. Okay, I gotta stop saying that, boom. Oh, man. Anyway, same old attack. Two golems, eight wizards, 25-ish um, hogs, and, and a rage spell and three heals. So let's watch one more raid from one of my clanmates right now. All right, this is a fun raid right here. Look at the army composition. We got a Goiwi-type raid with some hogs to clean up. This is fun. This is really fun, especially to you guys who are new to strategies like this. This is this is where you want to start. You want to start with this kind of a transitional strategy. So he's going to do a nice spread on the golems, spreading them way out. And the golems and the wizards, they're going to take out most of the base. The hogs are just to seal the deal. You know, you might be able to three-star a base like this with just a go wee wee army. But if you definitely 100% want the three-star, add in some hogs. That's what he's doing here, and it works so well. So, Hound down, Arch Queen down. They're going in on that top compartment, and they're going to sweep through there and probably take out some bombs. That's the idea. You want to take out some bombs, and these compartments are sketchy, man. Like, who knows where the bombs are? There's all these huge openings, 
and they could be to the right of the expo they could be to the left but there's definitely bombs in here so it looks like they're probably on the right because there's a tesla on the left let's see what happens here so two hogs step up and take out one of the bombs wow is there another one right there yes so that happens sometimes you gotta have your heal spell ready to go because sometimes those double bombs they don't go off at the same time so you can save your hogs like he did there sick yeah all right and the rest of this base is just crumbling like what what was this design if you have lower level town online base you don't want like giant compartments you don't want hogs or, or any troop to be able to just run through the base um yeah anyway public service announcement from beaker you're welcome <laughs> you want some compartments on your base to stop those golems wizards and heroes from just charging you you can't stop the hogs though unless you have good bomb placements like i said so uh that's gonna be it guys 30 seconds until death <laughs> for our buddy here peace homie you tried your best maybe change your base next time but uh you know you got to give it to him it was an interesting base design i like to see interesting i can appreciate it so that's gonna be it for today guys hope you guys enjoy hogs and i hope you use hogs you know we're gonna start using some air attacks soon because i just got them level two hounds yeah but i always have love for hogs i'm gonna always be using hogs until i you know really get the hang of air again i'm probably gonna be using hogs most wars so uh you guys will probably see both probably see them both most of the time so let me know in the comments below if you do use hogs or if you use air i feel like it's either one or the other you know some people use a combo you can definitely use like hogs and balloons but uh i feel like at town all nine and town all eight it's either balloons or hogs let me know what you guys use so thank you so much for watching i had fun today i always have fun showing you guys replays it's really fun to go through the the old war logs the most recent ones and check out the three stars and when they're some of my clan mates i just i love it man i love seeing my clan mates improve i'm sure you guys do too you know you, you see people come along really well when they watch good replays they watch good youtube videos you can learn a lot you know and you can you can develop better strategies and, and get better in war and that's the idea that's what we're trying to do here so hope you guys learned something today if you did let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time peace